So dudes, welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. If you've seen my live stream, you know that since Security Breach has gotten a release date, December 16th, I'm super ready for it. I'm ready for Freddy. <laughs> hey Freddy, how you doing? Um, because Security Breach is coming out December 16th, I decided that it's a good time to get back into VR and finish the game. The problem is... My VR headset isn't cooperating. You see, Oculus Quest, like, an, uh, recording an Oculus Rift is super easy. I plug it in, I can plug in, I can plug the Oculus Rift into my computer and easily record. But with Oculus Quest, I need to record wirelessly using an external, using a uh, external website, and it's very buggy and it's just a massive hassle. So I decided to get Five Nights at Freddy's VR PC edition. I've gotten to where I was, complete FNAF one, got to night three of FNAF two, didn't do FNAF three yet didn't do dark rooms yet got up to freddy and parts and service and also mangle yeah and no night tears yet so basically what we're going to be doing now is we're basically just going to be going through five nights at freddy's vr see if we can finish it and post it before security breach comes out because once it, like the moment security breach comes out once i get like a good four or six hours to myself i'm live streaming it because if i make it episodic I'm never going to be able to avoid spoilers because I don't want to get spoiled by the game and since I spend a lot of my time on YouTube, it's going to be very easy getting spoilers. So I want to live stream it so I can get so I can play through the main story so I don't have to worry about spoilers. Anyways, let me just check something quickly. Is the tape thing here yet? Oh, hello. The tape thing is here. All right. I did not expect that. All right then. Well, let's listen hello? to the tapes. Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? Um, this okay. This is a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide uh, these logs away from the core gameplay yeah. files. In a place that only a beta tester would look, and in a place where the files could be protected. Mm -hmm. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain mm -hmm. or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. Mm -hmm. There are more. They may not be in order. Yeah. So these are the tapes that tell the story of Five Nights at Freddy's VR. If you already know, then just skip to this time. It's on the screen. That's when the gameplay starts. But if you want to hear the story of these five tapes, then uh, stick around. I saw it for the first time today. There was a character, I couldn't make out who it was, yep. standing at the end of the hall. The lich trap. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. Wait. Wait, what? Uh oh, so you were playing the FNAF game, and then you- Were you playing FNAF 1 and then Glitch Trap showed up in the window? I don't know. In the gameplay, Glitch Trap only shows up in the main hub area, but in the storyline, Glitch Tra Trap can show up wherever he wants in the game, so he can show up, like, in the window of FNAF 1 if he wants to. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. Mm -hmm. It really feels like this project is in trouble, in no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has mm -hmm. to be a lawsuit. There's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something Jeremy. was wrong. But as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. That was, yeah. Jeremy, how oh, you'll find out horrible things about him. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? Yeah. It sounds yep. made up, yep, 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 but yep, it's yep. an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess the more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. Mm-hmm, that's hints to what happened. Yeah, I know what a guillotine paper cutter is. The, I went to school, so they had him there. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. 
Mm. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No. There was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation. Told us to scan it. Said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like yep. that. Looked pretty old. Mm -hmm. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. He. At least that's what Jeremy said. Mm-hmm. Glitch traps from the, uh, stuff that the game sent over. Okay, now that tapes are out of the way, we can get to the actual game. Okay, he's not here. I keep- I swear, I keep thinking Glitch Trap's just gonna appear behind me out of nowhere. Okay, so, uh, I guess we'll continue on with FNAF 2. FNAF 2 is a lot more difficult because in the VR game, I was able to just put my one finger on the music box and then have the one fi have my other hand just take care of the lights, simple enough. But in this version, you only get one hand, so you gotta either wind the music box or flash the lights, which is... Difficult to say the least, but I think I might have found a trick for that. But first, let me just mess with the audio. Okay, oh, pfft. I just hit. Alright, my name's Freeze 2. Is this. Alright, I think this is it. Let's just. See. Let me test my, uh, thing. Oh, it does work! Uh, hello, hello! I think I told you wouldn't have any problems. Did, uh, Foxy ever repair in the hallway? Probably not. I was just curious. Yep. Like I said, he was always my favorite. They tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first yep. one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly and put him in kid's toe. Chick is moving. To keep the toddlers entertained, you know? But All right. kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. Oh, I mangle. They literally had to put Foxy back together in just every ship. Eventually, they just stopped trying and left him in some kind of take apart, put back together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as your. Oh boy, balloon angle. boy. Uh, balloon boy move. Okay, I, go, I forgot uh, I need to talk. Because I haven't had to talk uh, before. You know how these local stories come and go and sell the meat and everything. I can personally. Foxy, 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 go away. That whatever is going on out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation. People trying to make a buck, you know. Uh, our yep. Our during the day has reported nothing unusual. Uh -huh. on wash Always keep the light on in front okay, of you well, in case one of the... There, so I'll you can... This hallway helps you keep an eye on the animatronics. Balloon Boy's coming any second. Check. Okay, Toy Bonnie's coming. So we'll deal with Toy Bonnie in a second. <laughs> Hi. All right. Bloom Boy's gone. My guess is, considering he leaves super quickly, you have. To Ooh, and that's why I keep the light flashing, because Foxy can appear at any moment. Wait. Uh, game bugged. Game bugged. <gasps> no, no, no! Shit! I double clicked like an idiot. Shit! I'm not used to PC. Ugh, well, Loon Boy loves to play pranks. Yeah, he likes to steal your batteries. How can you even steal the batteries? The buttons are built into the table. All right, I think. Hey, Freddy's coming. So now he's... <gasps> oh my god, Foxy almost got me! What the frick? I shined the flashlight at him! How did Foxy almost kill me? Not this time, Bonnie! Oh, 
Oh god, Mangle's here. Not this time, Freddy, you son of a glitch! Now we gotta watch Mangle. Foxy, go away. Wait, where'd you go? Hello? Fo Hi. Where'd Mango go? Boy, this is stressful. I keep hearing footsteps. Hey Bonnie, how's you go how's it going? I keep where the hell did Mango go? Hi! Foxy, go the f away! Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie! There is Mangle! Where the hell did you go? Eat it! I'm not talking much and I'm sorry, but I'm trying not to die. Oh boy, that was stressful. I win. In your faces. Yay, I got a, a butter for one. Oh, fine. Jesus Christ. That was actually stressful. Hey, there's my old friend. How you doing? I can- I actually understand what he's saying. He's saying, can you help me? Hello. That's what he's saying. If you listen to it long enough, you can understand what he's saying. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't want to do night four. I don't want to do it, but we have to. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't want to do night four, but we have to. Damn it. Let the night begin. Oh, Balloon Boy's oh, already oh. out. Shit. Hey there, night four. I told you Okay, so, uh, just to update you, uh, there's been someone of an... Let me get rid of these. We may end up having the clothes for a few days, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I just threw the bomb. That it's really just a precaution. Uh, that's where entertainment denies any yeah. long... Blah, blah, blah. Corporate, blah. corporate slang. Saying... It's keep not our thing, but I'll keep you posted. We uh, didn't do anything, blah, phone. blah, blah. I'm trying to avoid eye contact with the doing, on the side of the camp. Uh, someone may have been tampering with their facial recognition systems. We're not sure. And the dog's but yapping. The an Great. Very unusual, almost aggressive towards the staff. Yep, there's they Mangle. The kids just fine, but when they encounter an adult, they just stare. stare. Uh, anyway, Tang Tai's creepy. Uh, good night. Well, yeah. They see any adult as the person that uh that brought their untimely demise. Hi, Foxy. So they stare like you did this. Okay, thank God, Foxy went away. Jesus Christ! I don't know how long I need to shine the light in Foxy's eyes for him to go back. Okay, how did I not hear him laugh? How did he only laugh once and appear in the vent? You son of a glitch! And now my phone's going off. Kind of the middle. Okay. Okay. 
Hi, Bonnie. How you doing? All right, that, that, okay. So we'll deal with Bonnie in a second. I don't know what the hell's with, wrong with Chica. Freddy can come in at any time. Could take him five seconds, could take him five hours. Foxy, how you doing? Jesus Christ! Okay, the two vent. Hello. <sighs> this is stressful. No, 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 they're gonna be coming. Keep checking the vents. Do not ignore the footsteps. Footsteps mean someone moved and they could be near me. Hello? Shit. Balloon Boy's on his way. And so is Chica. Oh my god, Chica's staring at me. She just teleported. Oh god, high mangle. No way, that's Foxy. Hi. <laughs> Lights are glitching. Okay, my God. Almost there. 5 a.m. No, no. Foxy, no, no, no. Hi, Freddy. Hello. Not this time, amigo. You aren't gonna screw me over like you did when I played on VR. Hi. Boom! Mmm! Eat it! Holy shit! Yay! Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack. Okay! Hey, I got a cupcake! Yeet! Uh, okay, can't throw you. This way? Yeet! No, okay. Whew! That was stressful. Okay. Huh. Alright. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Alright, let me take it. Let me just catch my breath. Oh boy! Okay, so that's FNAF 2 done. There's a hard mode, but I plan to do hard mode on another day. Okay, so I know we should do something like Dark Rooms or something, but I'm gonna f I'm gonna do parts and service with Freddy. Alright, buddy. Let's fix you up. Alright. Continue. Welcome back to Parts oh, and God, Service. Oh god, hi. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Oh Let's dear. Let's return it to the lost and found. Alright, first let me look. Carefully, tape. grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Okay. Uh, ooh, tape. Bam! Freddy's got a pretty yep. good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Uh. Good job. 
Now place the hat in, in the, the refuse bin. While we're at it, let's yeah. make sure there isn't anything <laughs> lost else. Lost and found his trash in. can. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. It. Well done. Oh, Freddy's geez. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Okay. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's. Good job. It appears this is, there is easier. A shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. Boink. To reset the safety latch, okay. press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. It. Ha! Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. All right. Oh no. You oh seem to have Jesus box. Christ. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. Jesus Christ, his music was distorted Press and horrifying. The on the center of Freddy's face. Wait. That hey! They added the, the boop! They added the whole- They added the you. nose! Docked? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I had to touch his- I had to touch the endoskeleton. You know how dangerous that is? Jesus Christ! Plush trap, you son of a glitch! I hate you! <sighs> no higher. No, oh my god. You know what? I beat it. Uh, screw you, Plush Trev. I beat it. <sighs> You're doing a great job. Oh, he's not and there. No doubt having a great time as well. Yeah. As a reminder, really great time. Please be sure to only interact with core gameplay elements and avoid anything that could potentially be considered a glitch, mistake, or embedded message from unauthorized glitch. personnel. Glitch. Glitch trap. You know what? Let's finish up parts and service and do Foxy. Oh dear God, I'm gonna hate this. Oh God. <laughs> Welcome back to Oh Service. Jesus. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return huh. him to full working condition. Tape. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Got tape. All right, Foxy's head. Oh no. Hey. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at okay. all times. Okay. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Okay. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To okay. avoid bodily harm, All right. wait for Foxy's so legs blue, to stop moving green. before inserting the control fuse. Good mm. job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. Nice. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Yeah, 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 I got it. Oh, Shut up. No. It looks like a former employee attempted what? to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, Great. remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. No! Shoot! Mm, shit! Uh... Oh, Jesus! Okay, do not try to insert a fuse while Foxy's moving. Got it. Jesus Christ. Welcome okay. Back to parts and service. Head. Oh no. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Good job. There. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks yep. like a former employee attempted uh. to repair Foxy's chest motor. Well done. Bam. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both okay. fuses to continue. Blue, green, blue. Green, blue, blue. Okay. And did he say four? Yes, four. Keep an eye on Foxy. Blue, green, blue. 
Okay. Good job. Fair. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. All right. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, what? place the name? eye back into his eye socket. Okay. Jesus. Foxy. Well done. Oof. This can Got it. All your parts and service ah! ah. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. Uh, I don't think you want to... I don't think the children would like that. Foxy looks really damaged and destroyed. Don't think children would like that. Oh, uh, a balloon. Fun. All right, then. So I got two tapes. What does that mean? It seems that Nothing. you may have inadvertently accessed an unauthorized portion of the game. Please be aware that interacting with unofficial game code can be harmful to you and potentially damaging to our reputation. Oh, really? I should... S well, let's see what these other two tapes have to say. Shall we? Six. I came in early that oh, morning. Hey. No one else was there. At least, that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. I didn't even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I walked past. Hmm. The supply room was so bright. Glowing from all the way down the hall. Really? That's weird. Hello? Nothing but an empty void. Tape 7. Jeremy complained of nightmares when he came in this morning. Nightmares? He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. Looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office. Eww. But it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. Eww. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing next. They'd been prepping me for it. I guess they knew that Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. Ugh. Yeah. Jeremy. <sighs> Glitched. Okay, he's not here. Where the hell is he? I gathered two tapes. You think it would make him come out? But nope. He's hiding. He doesn't want to be spotted. Is that... I don't know. Alright. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you dudes did enjoy. We got through FNAF 1, FNAF 2. Next episode, we'll work on FNAF 3. And we'll go on to Dark Rooms. Because I completed all of parts in service. I need to finish Vent Repair. And I need to start on Night Terrors. Oh, I'm not looking forward to Funtime Freddy. He is difficult. I've actually tried playing him before in a video and that went horribly sideways so yeah anyways so next episode we'll do fnaf we'll start fnaf 3 we're not gonna finish it we're gonna start it and uh hope you dudes enjoyed this episode i'm hoping to get this done all these videos done and posted before a uh, security breach comes out but no guarantees and uh once i finish security breach then i'm gonna start playing the original Five Nights phrase games fnaf 1 fnaf 2 fnaf 3 maybe fnaf 4 i don't know i, pl I plan to play most of them but uh, anyways, I hope you did enjoy, and if you did, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Not gonna say goodbye, Glitch Trap. Fine, be a wuss. I don't care.